So let me just move on. Um, you know, if we played a word association game and I said something about virtualization, you'd probably say server. Uh, but in fact, uh, what is uh, occurring on the server side is also occurring on the desktop side. And that is the uh, technologies uh, that are being applied for server consolidation are also being used in the data center to consolidate and uh, efficiently operate uh, desktops. And you want to talk a little bit about that, Steve? Absolutely. So. Um, Part of what we've designed as part of the XVM solution is what we call our virtual desktop infrastructure mm -hmm. software. And the virtual desktop infrastructure, or VDI software, allows you to basically get your desktop anywhere, anytime. It allows you to virtualize the operating systems that are today in your desktops or laptop computers and move them back to a central um, centrally managed data center where you can more easily control the security, the access around that, as well as getting um, consolidation benefits similar to what you get with server consolidation. Mm -hmm. And what I'd like to do is show you a little bit about how this works. Okay. And again, if we go back to the, the Windows laptop here, I'm going to show all of this you know, on, from this single laptop. Again, we have the standard Firefox web browser here. And if I just click on this tab, um, what you see here is I have the um, what we call the secure global desktop, which is part of the VDI software. Right. And if I just click log in here, what I'm actually doing is I'm logging into a server um, on Sun's network in Germany, which is hosting my Windows desktop. So I'm logging into this server, and um, it's going to give me my sort of official corporate Windows desktop here. So you had to make it more difficult by making it the, the, put, the, uh, the server that far away. We're operating at okay. internet scale here. All right, good, great. Um, and what you can see here is I have an entirely different Windows desktop. I was running Windows here mm -hmm. in a local session. Here I'm running it in a remote session. And you can see I have you know, my standard web browsers here. I can go ahead and browse things. Um, I can go ahead and bring up standard um, productivity applications. This could be Microsoft Word or anything else. I'm just doing Notepad here. I can say, yeah, hi, you. Rich. Thank you. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. So let me just clarify what, what you're seeing here. But the, the concept is so... Um, interesting and powerful that often it, it escapes the, the first time viewer. Uh, what is happening here is we have a server in Germany that's running a copy of Microsoft Windows in a virtualized environment, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, on top of uh, an Intel uh, system. And we're projecting the uh, session um, over the net to a uh, essentially a, a remote session viewer that's running on top of this uh, Intel laptop. And so essentially you're getting the value of data center consolidation uh, that you're used to in server land on the desktop. It's all being mm -hmm. managed remotely, it's all being accessed remotely. Uh, you have the opportunity to efficiently use those resources. And the state, all of the data, all of the concerns about that individuals have about losing their system or uh, accessing their system improperly are removed because there is no actual user data on the system. We're seeing a, a picture of the user session that's running on a server uh, remotely. So it's really impressive. Now, um, when you said it uh, uh, you know, can be with you anywhere, right. well, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, I can get at this to anywhere that I have a standard um, Java-based web browser, web mm -hmm. browser with a JVM in it. The other thing I can do is I can actually use um, a, a dedicated device, such as Sun's Sunray Thin Clients. Mm -hmm. And what I have here is a, a smart card that includes my identity. This identifies me as Steve Wilson and what privileges mm -hmm. I have. And it basically identifies me with that session. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to flip over to the Sunray, and I'm going to put my card in here. And what's going to happen is it's going to take just a few seconds, and it's actually going to log into the VDI software. It's going to realize that I'm logging in with these credentials, which are the same that I logged into with the laptop. Um, as soon as I log in here, it's actually going to shut down the laptop session. And uh, I don't know if you can see that on the webcast, but my screen went it's blank gone. on the laptop. Right. And now on the Sunray, it comes up. And it's literally, as you can see, in the exactly the same place. This kept running. Nothing moved. It's exactly the same. And, and we have customers who run, say, um, large offices where you have many of these devices. Mm -hmm. Anywhere that you sit down, you can basically plug in your card, and you have your desktop anytime, anywhere. So this is the classic wherever you go, there you are thing. You yep. could have uh, left uh, this system flown to Japan, uh, put, plugged your car, card in and just kept working on the open document that you had left on the previous Absolutely. system. Absolutely, right? and, and we just see a, a lot of benefits for customers in this in terms of security, power usage, other things. It's, yeah. a, it's a really interesting technology. A couple of fine points here. I think in the past people look at uh, these dedicated uh, devices such as Sunray and they are projecting only Unix operating system desktops, but VDI uh, creates the capability to run any operating system. Obviously, the critical one to run um, is Windows, and so what you're seeing is Windows on all these devices uh, projected over the net 
uh, remotely in a very secure fashion. That's why we use the term uh, secure global desktop. So it's really critically important. And as Steve said, uh, these dedicated devices, uh, you know, seven watts of power, very, very interesting in capabilities. But uh, the, the, the key point is any device. Right. This is one device, but you know the the most frequent use certainly is going to be um, uh, an Intel-powered uh, desktop machine uh, running securely, accessing those services over the web, and uh, it's an incredibly powerful tool. So from now on, when we do the word association game, I think people will be a little bit more confused whether the answer is uh, server or desktop, desktop that goes with virtualization. So so thanks very much, Steve. I appreciate it.